You are watching TFI. So earlier on this week, a small, relatively unsung product team within Autodesk just changed the game in product visualization quite significantly by way of a casual mid-year update that they've just released for their customers. They have unleashed what I can only describe as the holy grail upon their customers, and that is real-time ray tracing for 3D CAD models. For your delectation and delight, I give you Autodesk Red in all of its magnificence. This software is nothing short of magic. It hasn't had much screen time on the channel, but I'm going to change that soon as I'm going to be implementing this into my day job, actually. is uh, It's got far more of a reach than just a product visualization package, but I'll talk about that another time. Uh, but this change that the Vred team have brought in via the 2019.3 release for Vred Professional, not Vred Design as such, this is Vred Professional we're focusing on here, uh, it's changed the game completely when it comes to real-time ray tracing for product visualizations, but also almost instantaneous production quality visuals where it would have otherwise taken hours to create a visual. And we've done it using the NVIDIA Optics Framework using AI deep learning algorithms to denoise a ray traced scene. What the heck does that even mean? Right, well, what you're looking at here is indeed real time ray tracing. We can take any one of these objects, we can pull them around and you can see lights, shadows, reflections, refraction even, updating in real time as I'm moving an object around. As I'm moving the camera around, you can see all the reflections updating in the chrome sphere, for example. And it's, uh, it's real time ray tracing, but quite obviously, this visual is unusable in any walk of life. You can't do anything with this. Why? Because it's full of noise. It's got all this grain everywhere. And this grain is needed to be cleared by running the ray tracing engine through this scene hundreds of times to clear away the noise. And that can take hours per single frame. And if you're thinking about objects moving, every single time a visual element changes in the scene, those hundreds, thousands of passes have to be done again for every single visual change which makes real-time ray tracing essentially completely out of the question until now. So what the Vred team have done is they've leveraged this uh, this new framework from NVIDIA and they've implemented it into the Vred core engine via this denoiser setting here, which you can get to via rendering, render settings. Now, if you change this to deep learning always, it's going to enable the denoiser on the GPU using the AI deep learning and it's going to run perpetually as you spin the camera around, as you move objects around the scene. The noise in the scene has been completely removed and you're able to, what is essentially real-time ray trace your objects in Autodesk Red. And it is incredible. Now, the deep learning algorithms have a number of different settings. We've got low, medium, high, and ultra high. And you can get those via the visualization drop down and real time and aliasing. So there's low, medium, high, ultra high. If you go up to ultra high, you get what is essentially a production quality visual instantaneously. Now, you, it's going to be very difficult to real time ray trace based on the ultra high settings unless you are Ferrari or Porsche and you have a workstation cluster of 200 plus cores to throw at it, you're not going to be able to spin the camera around in real time. Uh, you can do, but you're looking at maybe a one to one and a half frames per second. Uh, but it's it's doable. It, it's kind of doable. Uh, but yeah, dropping it down to low or medium settings is uh, the place you want to be at for a smooth, consistent navigation experience. Um, but yeah, the, the ray tracing engine is still entirely bound to the CPU. It's the denoising that's done on the GPU and it's running on the tensor cores if you have an RTX card. If you don't have an RTX card, then you can still use Maxwell or Pascal and it'll just be slightly slower, but it will still work. Now the Vred team are working on a renderer which will perform entirely on the GPU, but that's coming uh, at a future time. No time scale on that at the moment, unfortunately. But what the guys have done is absolutely incredible this is a gate it's a game changer there's no no other definition i can put on it other than the bar has been drop kicked into the stratosphere by the red team here everyone else should be playing catch up with the red team right about now so with that being said uh i just want to drop this exposure i could play with this for absolute hours mate uh, i have to do it with the <laughs> yeah, real-time anti-aliasing down set to low but to be honest, the, the quality is still good enough on low 
to have a good old play around with it, mate. I mean, look at that. It is absolutely incredible what we can do. And uh, dropping in a car, I've played with automotive assets, my company assets, drop them in here, real time ray trace them. It's it's just elevated the product visualization experience to a whole new level. So well done to the red team for that. Now I just want to give a few words on that actually whilst I'm here because I'm not sure if the the red team get the credit that they deserve. I mean I, I don't know how it goes internally with an Autodesk, but you don't hear a lot about them really and what they've achieved with the resource that they've got. It was described to me actually by someone who works on the red team. He said that they are so small within Autodesk that they're almost invisible. I kind of like to think of them as having less staff on their entire team as the AutoCAD team have people cleaning their building. I've just made that up. It's probably completely unsubstantiated, but it's just one of those things that I kind of I kind of think of. And another thing that struck me about this update, Fred 2019.3, think about what they've just put in this update for their customers. It's not a major yearly launch. It's not 2020. It's just a mid-yearly subscription update. And they've given them real-time ray tracing, essentially, essentially production quality visuals in an instant which would have otherwise taken hours to do and also substance native material support think about that in a mid-yearly update and then think about the product that you use AutoCAD, Inventor, Revit whatever it is you use take a look at the what's new list what you got the last major update and compare it to what these guys have just given their customers in an incremental update mid-year pretty much it's pretty unprecedented these days i'm not complaining i'm not digging on on any particular team for their what's new feature list other than the vault team i continuously dismay at their what's new list but aside from that i'm not picking bones at anything really but these guys with the resource that they've got and what they're delivering is absolutely incredible i'm saying all of this though from a point of ignorance just naivety and uh, to a certain extent, I'm just playing the obnoxious customer card, which I've got, <laughs> I can do, because that's what I am. But uh, just want to wrap it up by saying well done to these guys. And uh, if you want to check out Vred, by all means, you can download a trial of it and uh, just play around with it for 30 days. And it's it goes way above and beyond just being product visualization. It can do a lot more than that. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely adore it. So well done to the guys for what they've just done with 2019. Point three. Uh, thanks to everybody as well who signed up to the TFI Patreon Discord server. I've had a good chat with a few people about this sort of stuff over there, uh, as well as other things. We're, we're getting a, we're getting a kind of good crowd over there now, and it's been uh, it's been enjoyable to be around and to be involved with. So uh, if you want to check that out, by all means, head on over to the link in the description. If you want to sign up to the Discord server and have a good old chinwag. Right, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles. Mm -hmm.